Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service, and today I'm going to show you some information leakages, which eventually will lead to access a tool which I'm not supposed to access, which probably is a paid service or an invite only service. And we will do this step by step. So first and foremost, there is a tool called Access as Destroyer, and it's a private platform, and I can enter my email address to request access, but nothing really spectacular happening on this site. So I cannot access the tool as, as it is right now. So I'm going over to Burp and look at the request. So we have our main um, PHP index page, which is being loaded. And something I, I see here is that the, the, the tool, the XSS tool, is in a directory called XSS tool. So this is something to to take a note. And then I also see here that there is a report being loaded, but the report basically gives like 500 internal server error, but it has interesting information in there. So first and foremost, I see an auth token, and I also see a cookie. And you know what? I'm going to copy the whole thing out because I probably can make use of these things at a later stage. So um, I certainly want the auth token, which is here and never know what it's good for right and then we also do have a cookie and we also have the path here but the, the path we already know uh from the burp request so um not nothing too special but let's take this actual thing and we are going to run this again and this is what we just had, but what happens if I use the auth token with it? You know, so maybe I get different information. That's sometimes possible if I supply like a bearer token and not an auth token with it. So let me just hammer this in here, hit send, and there we go. So we already have the first vulnerability found. I get two IDs return in JSON format with some URLs and some payloads and stuff like that. So this is certainly already a vulnerability, right? Um, what I also want to check and what I typically do, and I highly recommend this for everyone, if you ever hunt um, around on bug bounty programs, uh, always look for the robots.txt file, right? Like, because what is, what they don't want to have be indexed by Google is typically good information. And here we go. So they disallow two paths here. I'm copying both of them out. One we already know, this is the report we've just been on, but there is another one called the destroy XSS basically, okay? So let's load this, right? Like this is, they don't want Google to index this. So what is this? Okay, so now I get a different error message. And the error message says, okay, you're not allowed to view this. So. I will presume that this is the actual tool, right? Like destroy xss.php is probably the main website of, of that tool. And, but let's go back here to burp, take a look at this and we send it to repeater as well so we can modify this. Okay, so error message, you're not allowed to view this, right? But earlier we also had a cookie value, right? Like we seen a cookie value in one of the information disclosures, like wondering what's happening if I put that in right? Like if I come with the cookie and then it says like, oh, you're not allowed to view this. Your session has expired. So that's different now. So there's certainly something off with the cookie or the, a cookie is required in order to gain access to that functionality. So let's take a look at the cookie in a bit more detail, right? Like, so I can immediately see that this is base 64 and I immediately see why it doesn't work because the expiry date of that specific cookie was on the 1st of December 2020. So what happens if I change that cookie to the expiry date of today, right? This is 28.03.2023. And then I hit apply. And then I'm going to set, resend this again with the new cookie. And now I actually, if I render this, now I have successfully accessed the XSS destroyer tool, because now I have the option here to enter a URL. Remember before I could only enter my, my email address or like sign up to a wait list or something, but now I actually have full access to that tool. And I hope this video showed you like the little steps you can take and how to chain certain vulnerabilities together and try it on different endpoints and things like that. But um, I hope you enjoyed and I see you in one of the next videos. Thank you.